y'all hey it's your girl tasha and baby i'm back with another video hey sis how y'all doing i know long time no see i'm sorry y'all i was like really busy today so like i told y'all yesterday when i talked to y'all yesterday that i had to work yesterday and i normally don't work during the week so when i was at work yesterday they was like so um yeah can you work tomorrow and i was like um so yeah so i came in to work today so um because i need them coins okay so i was really busy once i got off work i had some errands i had to run and get home and feed the kids and help with homework blah, 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 blah. so anyway so all right so how y'all uh y'all enjoyed the super bowl yesterday did your team win Again, I told you I didn't have a team, but I dang sure didn't want the Patriots to win. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, I do want to say this, you guys. I want to say thank you so much. Three over, like, I think I got almost 350 subscribers. Like, y'all, that's like stupid, crazy bananas. Like, I am super stoked, happy about that. Thank y'all so much. Like, Thank y'all so much for the love and support. I truly mean that from the bottom of my heart. I really do. Um, and while we on the subject of that, um, I want to I wanna pay it forward, okay? So today when I was at work, I ran across some videos. Well, I'm already subscribed to these channels. And um, I ran across, well, this this video that I'm going to talk about, and I'm going to put all the names of these videos in the description box. Um, this uh, channel that I'm going to talk about, I'm not subscribed to that. Well, I am now, but I wasn't earlier today when I first seen it it's called um rant r-a-n-t rosa r-o-s-a so y'all need to go check boo out because when I tell you boo spitting straight knowledge so she had a video that I saw that was about Olivia right so of course when I see videos about other youtubers especially ones with big filings I click on them because I want to see what other people's opinions and reactions are to you know what they post y'all when I tell you she, this woman spoke nothing but highly of Olivia. Now, I'm not saying that she shouldn't. I mean, her, her opinion. Okay, I'm going to put it to you like this. Y'all go look at the video and y'all get your own perspective out of it. Like, she was spitting sp straight knowledge to me. Like, I enjoyed the video. Like, it, I left that video having a totally different outlook on the whole Olivia evolution through YouTube. Like, she truly, truly broke it down you know and it was very informational so i think y'all should go check that out i really do and then um i got another person that i want to shout out so let, here, let me say this real quick y'all i believe in paying it forward and i told y'all that before i think i said that yesterday i believe in paying it forward and some people might say is girl why is you out here shooting out uh, shouting out other youtube uh creators on your channel because i'm like this y'all it's enough money out here for everybody like everybody okay that ain't my that ain't my heart. Like it don't yeah, I don't, you know, I feel like this. If I got something out of it, you might get something out of it. If you might know somebody that can get something out of it. So if you ain't stumbled across this person, I'ma help you stumble across this person. That's how I, you know, people stumble across me, I believe, you know. So my next my next my next uh creator, her name of her channel is Mooches. And I I'm sorry, I keep looking down because I wrote my notes when I was at work today. Um Mooches mac mommy smith all right boo has a beautiful beautiful spirit she's new she doesn't have a lot of subscribers and that don't matter when i say that that don't matter but that's why i'm telling y'all go over there and support your girl okay um she does makeup okay so like i told y'all before like i'll do a little makeup but not a lot i'm you know i, I do enough makeup to for me i like i baby i can't yeah i can't I can't do no tutorial, but I'm not that good at it. But when I tell you, sis face be beat to the gods. So y'all need to go check her out. And again, it's Mooch's Mac Mommy Smith. And the name of her um, channel will be in the description. And then um, lastly, um, is my girl. Like, y'all gonna love her. Okay, when I tell you, boo classy, straight style. Now, don't get me wrong, these... Uh, these other ladies is classy too, 
You know what I'm saying? But y'all gonna like her style. That's what drew me to her. When I saw her introduction to her video, I could, Boo likes designer purses. And anybody that know me know I am a designer like, yeah, that's my, that, baby, that's me. Okay, I love designer purses. Don't get me wrong, y'all. I like all purses. I, I don't have just designer purses. I have all type of purses. But, um, so I, that caught my attention. And her, um, the name of her channel is, um, I'm going to spell the first name. It's F-R-A-N-C-O-I-S-E-F-P-M-C-Million Vlogs. And again, y'all, I'm sorry about that. Um, like I said, once I get a computer stuff, I'll be able to get better with this. But I'm going to put the description, the name of the channel, in the description. But this young lady um, had the gastric sleeve surgery. So for all, all you guys watching who's either had that surgery um, thinking about having that surgery, she she did like a whole journey of her surgery. So y'all need to go check her out. She talks about her diet and and other things that she um, doing well with and some things that she struggles with. So I feel like somebody who can relate, can relate. And like I said, she talks about other things. She has a really beautiful family. She's married. She has a little girl. Just a real, real beautiful family. So y'all go check them out, okay? Y'all do that. Go check them out. And uh, so. Last but not least, what I came to talk to y'all today about, which was, you know, my title of my um, video, this lady, her name on her channel is Lisa's, with the apostrophe S, Life815. And what drew me to her channel, again, that channel was, um, was recommended, okay? And the name of her video was Trump Food Boxes in March 2019. So when I seen that, I was like, what? So, of course, you know me, my nosy ass. Click. <sighs> and I'm going to tell y'all what disturbed me about this video. So, she was talking about food stamps. And basically, the, the basis of her video was people got their food stamps early. And they're going to run out of food because everybody got their food stamps early go, has basically junk them up in food in junk food okay so what she did was she took snippets of other youtube creators videos that had food stamp hauls and i think um she had olivia she had jasmine and she had a couple other ladies that i didn't know didn't recognize like she had snippets of all their videos now i will say this one of the ladies that she had boo did have way too many snacks in her basket like way too many but who's to say the day before boo didn't go to the store and get all her meats and vegetables like she didn't i mean she didn't show that but how we know she did so that kind of bothered me because i'm like my thing is this, y'all. Whatever somebody buy at the store is their business. You know, my my thing is this. Like, I buy snacks for my kids. I buy chips. I buy cookies. I buy uh, cakes and puddings. But we don't eat all that at one time, right? I buy apples. I buy oranges. Um, I buy gogurt. And my kids, we eat it in proportion. Like, I ration that out. We have days that we eat chips. We have days we eat crackers. Like, we got days for all that stuff, you know? Um, like I told y'all before, you know, it's six kids in my house. So, no, everybody can't get a bag of chips every day. Chip, a box of 50 will be gone in three days or four days or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So... We can't do it like that. So we 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 eat ours, we ration our food out, okay? But my thing is this, y'all. So everybody keeps talking about, yeah, they ain't going to have no food stamps in March. So, uh, again, y'all, I did my research, and I'm going to look down in my, in my notes because I took some notes. I, I, y'all learned that in school. Take notes, okay, on something that you want to remember or is important to you. Uh, so here's the thing. This is what I found out. And again, I just did did highlights. If y'all want to know detail, y'all y'all gotta go Google it yourself. You can just Google how did food stamps start, and you can find out yourself. But basically, what I did was um, I found out like food stamp the food stamp program started in 1939, so that's around the, the Great Depression era. Okay, so when the food stamp program started, um, it kind of like, that was the ideal, and it started a little bit, and then it died off for about 20 years. And I'm not saying no food stamps didn't transpire, but it wasn't, it wasn't like it is today, okay? And then, 
Then the food stamp program picked back up in 1961. President Kennedy did a pilot food stamp program. Now, again, President Kennedy got assassinated. So the president who took over, which I believe was Johnson, took over. It was either Johnson or Eisenhower. I don't know. Again, y'all, y'all got to Google that because, uh, you know, I didn't do all that. I was at work. I was on my break. And, um, and so then in 1961, President Kennedy did a food stamp pilot. And in 1964, that president, which I believe was Johnson, implemented the Food Stamp Act. And that made food stamp permanent, right? And then from 1988 to 2004 is when they started phasing out the paper food stamps and started implementing the EBT program okay so the reason why i said all that because y'all like okay sis what's your point my point is food stamps have been around baby since the 1940s like they not going nowhere so here's the thing y'all food stamps fuels our economy y'all may not want to believe that but it does food stamps promotes jobs and i'm gonna tell you why you go to the store. Now, me, when I go to the store, child, I be all in people's baskets. Yes, I do. And nine times out of ten, when somebody is spending cash, baby, they, they don't have uh, two carts pulling. You know what I'm saying? Because most people um, are buying, like, by the week, by the month, or, or excuse me, by the week, bi-weekly, daily. You know what I'm saying? And so those baskets don't be very large, like a food stamp basket will okay so here's the thing so when those food when those lines grocery lines started trimming down and people are not spending as much at one time wh what happens you don't need that many cashiers so then what happens cashiers start losing their jobs right when young people come in there with them food stamps, they doing big purchases they're getting a lot it's a lot more people in the stores buying it fuels the economy. It truly does. Food stamps helps people in poverty put food on the table. It it's, it's supposed to help families that, are, that would spend money on food to take that money they would spend on food and put that on some bills like rent and utilities. Now, does it always happen like that? Of course not. I'm not naive. But that's what it's... It, and a lot of families do do that, you know, like we keep knocking people about getting food stamps and I'm like tired of hearing about it because food stamps is not a bad thing, you know. So here's the thing. People abuse credit cards. So what are we going to do? Ban credit cards? People abuse their debit cards using overdraft protection. So what are we going to do? Ban debit cards? You know, even when the overdraft protection thing came about and banks started seeing how it was becoming a problem, they still didn't get rid of it in its entirety. What they do, they make you make a decision. You either going to opt in or you opt out. We just not going to automatically give you this overdraft privilege. That's what they call it, overdraft privilege on your account. And some banks got it, some banks go. But for the banks that do, they call it overdraft privilege, okay? They didn't get rid of it in its entirety. They just put some sanctions on it, okay? Same thing with food stamps. They're not going to get rid of it in its entirety. They're going to put some sanctions on it. Because first of all, these Trump boxes ain't going to work because there's a lot of people that have special diets based off their health condition. These Trump boxes is not going to be able to satisfy those special diets because when these Trump boxes come, they're going to come in mass quantities. Okay? And they're just going to say, okay, how many people in your house? Okay, well, here, boom, here you go. There you go. They don't care if you diabetic, uh, what, uh, whatever the case, situation is, okay? Now, they might have some nutritional boxes, but it's not going to be for each and every Pacific diet. You know what I'm saying? It's just not going to be like that. So, like I said, I just don't believe food stamps is going away. And I'm just tired of people talking about it. Like, yes, people do abuse food stamps. Yes, they do. But, okay, people abuse a whole lot of other stuff out here that we ain't always talking about. Like anytime it's something that benefits the poor or the less fortunate, everybody make a big deal about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, like chill out, like just leave it alone. If somebody want to go and buy their kids cookies and crackers and chips. OK, who's that's not saying that's what they eating all day long. Like, you got a lot of mamas out here, a lot of single mamas out here who work nine to fives. And when they get off work, they got to go get the kids from the daycare. They might got to go do a few more errands when they get off work. A lot of times, if they're getting off at five o'clock, they're probably not getting home to six, six thirty. So then when they get home, they got to help with homework, get baths done, get clothes out for the next day. Okay, now it's damn near eight o'clock. Most people put their bed, kids to bed between nine and ten. So what you going to do? Start cooking a full course meal at eight o'clock at night? No. 
you might have to pop something in the oven real quick. And I'm going to tell you how I do, you guys. I do I do a food food menu, okay, a food plan. And I basically do it by the month. And what I do is I alternate my meals from week to week. So what I on week A is what we're going to eat on week C. On week B, that's what we're eating on B and D. That's how I do it. And that's based off that, that's how I go to the grocery store. That's how I shop. Now, some days... Whatever I got on the menu might not work out because something might have came up and I'm not going to be able to make that meatloaf because I didn't get home to 7, 7.30 or whatever. You know, my son on Tuesdays and Thursdays has basketball practice from 7.15 to 8.15. So if I don't get that food cooked early enough, then I might have to come in here and make some provisions. And sometimes it will be. I do have, I don't have a lot. Now, I will say that because I am, a, I, I do cook pretty much daily, okay? <clears throat> but I do have frozen pizzas. I do have um, those little um, Salisbury steaks and turkeys that, the, what they call them, encores. I do have some of those. Like, I do have some process. I don't have a lot, but I do have some for them days where I can't sit down and fry up uh, 16 pork chops or 20 chicken wings or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I, like, I do have that. Like, Processed food itself is not bad. I mean, sometimes you do got to eat it. That's why they got it out there for you to buy it. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on now. Like, I'm just tired of people. I'm just tired of them talking about these food stamps. Like, it's played. It's whack. Let's talk about something different. Like, yes, people do abuse it. But, okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, is you getting ready to buy somebody's groceries? If You know, like, so what? You know, I mean... So what? Just so what? I, I just, I mean, that's, that's just my opinion, y'all. And again, I'm entitled to it, but I just wish people would just chill out. And what I didn't like about Boot, but the, about the young lady who did this video, she, pretty much all the, well, I think it was one white woman. It, it might not have been none, but I think I remember seeing one. I don't know, because I looked at a bunch of videos today, and I might got it confused with something else. But for the most part, I know it was like four black women that she put on her video like she used them exclusively now i will say this going through my feeds on youtube talking about food stamps food stamp hauls i seen some white women posting food stamp hauls too yeah i did mm-hmm am i prejudiced no ma'am mm-hmm -mm. No, I am not. But there is a cultural difference and people make a difference in that cultural difference let's not be naive that's real talk. Okay? So, y'all go check that video out. See what you think about it. You know, maybe y'all might think something different. And then just leave it in the comments what y'all think. But at this point, I'm just going to say this. For all the people that's worried about if they going to get their food stamps in March, okay, y'all go to sleep. Take go, go sleep. Don't lose no more sleep. Go sleep, boo. Because I, pro I promise you, you're going to get them in March. When? Whatever day you get them. Or whatever state, however your state do them. Y'all going to get them. They're not going to cut them food stamps out in its entirety. They're not. Like I said before in one of my videos. If they're going to do that, that's going to be something that they're. it's, they're, it's going to be a transition. You know, they, they're going to say in 2019, in 2021, we're going to get rid of food stamps. Okay, they're going to let you know ahead of time. They're just not going to drop it on you in your lap like that. That's not how that's not how the government runs. It don't run like that. Just like with the whole ID thing, how they got that little thing on your ID now where everybody got to have it by 2020, I think, or you ain't going to be able to fly. Okay, but they start talking about that a couple years ago. Right. They didn't say that on January 1, 2019. You better have your ID by uh, July 1st, 2019 or you ain't going to be able to fly nowhere. No, they told you that two years ago. Two, three, whatever, how long ago it was, and let you know by this date, I think it's 2020. Yeah, by this date in 2020, everybody better have that thing on their IDs or you ain't gonna be able to fly. Right? So, all right, y'all. Uh, that's all I want to talk about, y'all. I ain't really have a whole bunch. Um, I'm gonna try to get on here tomorrow, you guys, and talk to y'all. Um, I, it'll probably be later because I, my mom has the early stages of dementia. And she lives in a, a senior community. She's not in a nursing or anything. She lives like in a senior apartment. And um, I get over there a couple times a week. And, and we just, sometimes we go shopping. Or sometimes we just sit in the house. She drinks her tea. I drink my coffee. And we just sit and talk and stuff. Or watch TV or whatever, you know. And so um, I, I try to get over there a couple times a week. I normally go there on Mondays. But I work today, so I didn't go. So I'm going to go tomorrow. And I'm going to try to get over there again Friday. 
Okay. And before I go, y'all, I wanted to show y'all something. So, does anybody know anything about this? So, this is um, got to be glued uh, gel, right? So, for all my lace front ladies, baby, if you do not have this, you need to go put this in your uh, cabinet of your hair supplies, okay? Because when I tell you this is the real deal, holy feel, like if you got a lace front and you put it around that lace front edge and glue it down, baby, that thing ain't going nowhere. Now, I don't have a lace front on today. I have on a drawstring ponytail, and I basically, you know, put it on and and kind of like pinned it in the back. You know what I'm saying? Um, but what I used it for today was just to gel my hair up because I couldn't find my other gel. I think my kids got it. But anyway, so what I but I will tell y'all this: it's very it's sticky. Okay. So what I do is I I moisturize my hair real good. I use pink oil moisturizer, and I moisturize my hair real good. And then I took this, not a whole lot of, you know, enough, and and then molded my hair up, you know. But if you have a lace front, y'all go go cop this. Because, like I'm telling y'all, baby, you will not, like, you will like it. You really will. Now, um, check the ingredients, because I know we got, you know, allergies and some people allergic to stuff. No. So, check your ingredients before you buy it. Make sure, it, you know, it works for you, Okay. So, again, y'all, it was a pleasure. I enjoyed talking to y'all once again. And um, before y'all leave, like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all in the next video. Until then, y'all be easy.